Target share is surging after reporting better than expected earnings. On set with me now is Christine Short, Senior Vice President at Estimize. So, Christine, earnings and revenues beat expectations. Same store sales fell 1.3%, but analysts were expecting a 3.7% decline. So, all around a good quarter. Yeah, I think this might be the biggest surprise this entire earnings season. You know, we came into the retail season mostly with bad results. The only company I can actually think of off the top of my head that's beat both on the top and the bottom line is Home Depot. And that's kind of the golden child of the retail space. We know home improvements doing really well as the housing market recovers and as you know home prices stay very high. Um, so it's surprising to see Target of all names. I mean, discounts been doing pretty well, but I'm talking more about the TJ Maxx's of the right, world. The treasure hunts. Right, exactly, where people really feel like they're getting a value, and that's what the U.S. consumer is looking for right now. But Target was not on the list of names to post a 30 cent beat versus what we were expecting at Estimize. Uh, revenues beat by almost 400 million, so those are huge numbers. I wonder if that's any sort of foreshadowing for Walmart tomorrow, um, but certainly a surprise here. And in online sales, so digital channel sales surging 22% year over year. So so those investments into their digital sales certainly seem to be paying off. All right, we're going to talk about Walmart in a minute, but what is the overall strategy for Target? Because they, they seem to be a little bit of a fish out of water in terms of beefing up their digital sales yes. and also competing in the, I guess, home improvement space? Yeah, I mean, that's a great space for them to compete. We know in the last few quarters, their strength has been on health and wellness. Some of the designer you know, clothing sales that they've m matched up with designers have done quite well. Um, you know, They've sort of tried to compete in grocery. I'm not sure they're going to be able to compete there. I think their best strategy right now is the st smaller format store that they've been able, Target Express has been able to go into smaller towns, be kind of a one-stop shop for people you know, outside of bigger cities. So it seems that that is working but we'll have to listen on the call. I know uh, Target restock is something that they're piloting right now. Online shopping for household essentials that are delivered the next day. So that could fly in the face of both a Jet and an Amazon strategy. Yeah, and, and maybe some analysts wouldn't even call Walmart a competitor to Target, right? Because Walmart is very strong in groceries. Yes. We know they bought Jet.com last year, so that's going to bolster their online offerings. Right. What should we expect from Walmart on Thursday? So tomorrow from Walmart, we're looking for about 97 cents a share. Um, we're looking for about 117.8 billion, I think, on revenues. And so both of those would be, you know, down on on the bottom line. We're actually looking for the eighth consecutive quarter of negative growth. And revenues have just kind of been bumping along. I think for the last three years, they've only put up one to two percent growth. But again, this is a huge behemoth, so you're not going to see 20 percent growth out of this name. So sales are are kind of bumping along the lower single digits. Um, but again, you're going to expect to hear more about Jet, more about their grocery efforts, more about online sales because they've certainly invested there. And I think if anyone can take on Amazon, any of the big box mm. stores, it's going to be Walmart. They have the capital to do so. And we'll end with that very important point. All right, Christine Short, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.